friends, this is Caroline of Caroline's Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I am using this kit from Scribble Prints Co. called Tiny Grad, as well as some silver and hollow um, add-ons from a few different shops that I'll have linked below for this spread, as well as a pair of Oristel cloud inserts that I've been using recently for my spreads until I can go into the new Erin Condren Life Planner. There you see some sheets from the Glam Planner foil bundles that I'm also planning on using. Uh, this week was an interesting one. I had this kit planned to use for this week for a very long time. Oh, pardon my head while I do the bottom washi there, but I had this kit planned to use for a very long time as my spread for the last week of school with my kiddos. This is the last week of school, although I toyed with the idea of using a different kit this week. The tiny grad kit that I'm using here is really celebratory in my mind. It's um, definitely geared towards graduation of little people and we did do that this week. However, with the change of circumstances, with the virus and everything, we had to do our end of the year celebration virtually, which really changed the dynamic and it changed the format drastically and we were not able to have the celebration that my team and I would have liked to be able to put together, to have been able to put together for the families and for the kids. So I, I really went back and forth on using this kit because I wasn't sure if I wanted to save it for next year when hopefully we'll be able to all be back together in person for our end of the year celebration um, or and I really thought about using a just any time stay at home kit this week and saving this kit for when we can do the celebration quote unquote right. Um, but in the end, I just chose to stick with this one. I thought it was important to acknowledge this week for what it was. We did, we did finish our school year and we did celebrate and it was different, but it was still special and it turned out much better than I thought it would be. And it really warmed my heart that Oh, the families were so appreciative, um, and it just, it, it turned out, it turned out great. I mean, for what it was, it, it turned out great, and I'm glad in retrospect that I did use this kit. I did go ahead and use it, um, because it's good to remember that there was this time in our lives when we weren't able to all be together but we did still find a way to celebrate. We rose above it and continued on in spite of it and the children and families had a really nice celebration and what I was telling some of the families, what I was talking to them about after we celebrated and what I've brought up to several family members as I've been talking about the end of the school year, the biggest thing that I took away from it was how special and unique it was that we did get to have our celebration this way, virtually, because now everything is recorded. Everything, the whole celebration, um, the our last, you know, virtual conversations we had together, we made videos, my assistant and I, 
for the kids, just saying goodbye to them and um, remembering some of our favorite things that we did with them. And, and those things are all recorded now and they are available to the families and they're available to us as the teachers to look back on whenever we want to, which is really special and really unique. Um, in years past, I haven't had any recordings of anything and families might have taken recordings at our celebrations for their own enjoyment and for their own use, but I have never had the pleasure of having any of those things. I've never had any of the celebrations recorded or any of our conversations and moments recorded. So I'm, I'm very happy to have that. And that is a gift that I would not have had if it were not for this change in circumstance with the virus and distance learning and all that. So there's your silver lining for the day. <laughs> so that's a very long-winded way of saying that I wasn't planning on using this kit, but I decided to anyway. Um, because it's important to acknowledge the milestone, even if we had to go through it a little bit differently this year. Um, let's see. I was just, I was real, I'm used to in the past, you know, s sitting for hours, you know, talking to families and taking pictures with the kids and, and, um, you know, saying our goodbyes and, and, uh, giving hugs and all that. And we couldn't do that this year. And that does break my heart, but, you know, we had to just go with, with what we were dealt. Um, I haven't been talking through what I'm using, uh, thus far, just because I wanted to talk about other things, but here, uh, for bougie boxes, I am putting in uh, silver bougie boxes from a tape by Sticky Essentials, I believe. Um, all of the shops that I use, as usual, will be linked down below. Uh, and if I forget anything, or any you have any questions about where anything's from, please feel free to leave it in a positive comment below. Also, leave a comment below with any questions that you have for me. I love to use these voiceovers as a chance to answer any of your questions. Uh, it tends to be an easier format for me to use to just talk through things rather than narrating every single sticker. That gets a little overwhelming for me if I, you know, lose my place or whatever. So, uh, please feel free to leave any questions that I can use in a voiceover or any requests for future videos in a positive comment down below. I've really been enjoying uh, making these videos for you all. It's been a huge uh, learning curve for me just with filming and doing these voiceovers and editing. I've never done any sort of video editing before in my life. So that's been a big learning curve for me, but fun and a nice way to use some time that I have. Um, now that the school year is over, that is one thing that I will have a lot more of is time to uh, focus on YouTube, growing my skills, um, growing my channel, hopefully um, making better and more frequent content for, for you all. Um, I've been enjoying using these spreads to capture memories and I'm really looking forward to at the end of this month doing the um, planner spread tag. Kind of going back through all of my spreads over the past year. This this will be in the end of this month will be the end of my first full year of decorative planning. So I will have a whole year's worth of spreads to go back and look at. And I really look forward to flipping through and remembering 
the memories and reflecting on them in that video. Um, I'd also love to use any questions that you have in that video as well. If there's time, there's the base all done. Um, this is the next day when I'm filming this portion and I had a long sleeve shirt on because it was actually really cold. This day, um, where I live, the temperature has been like a yo-yo. <laughs> uh, over the past few weeks, it'll be like really cold and rainy and gross and terrible. And then the next couple of days, it'll be like in the 90s and humid and just awful. So it's been fine, but then this weekend was absolutely gorgeous. And uh, my husband and I have been really careful about going out with um, everything with the virus and everything. So we've really been staying in mostly, but we decided to go out for a little walk on Saturday to a little park that's near our house. And it was our first major outing in like two months. <laughs> so I definitely made sure to mark that big in my planner this week. Um, we were able to, to go out and do that, which was big because the weather was so nice this weekend. It was not very hot at all, nice and breezy. Um, the sun wasn't too crazy so it was really nice to just sit in the grass and enjoy the outdoors for about an hour which was awesome um, with masks on keeping socially distant and everything so that was really really wonderful definitely one of the highlights of this week um, I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do at this time that I have over summer break. Um, I usually like to have some goals or things to work towards. Uh, you may have seen my outline for my summer break goals in my most recent video before this one, actually two videos before this one. Uh, one of my biggest goals is to get a lot of reading done and do a lot of listening to audiobooks and podcasts and things like that. Reading has always been one of my um, favorite hobbies or things to do when I have time, but I really haven't had a lot of time or more so than time, it's just energy. I would find after, you know, a day at school, I would just come home and just crash. Um, oh, here I'm putting in some flags to mark uh, my workouts for the week. I just wanted to go ahead and do that since I had some workouts planned earlier in the week. Um, yeah, so when I was having to, to travel back and forth for school and be with the kids all day long, it was great. I loved it, but I would just come home and crash and I wouldn't have as much energy and um, to do those sorts of leisure activities that involved any sort of brain power like reading. So with working from home, uh, I've had a little more, a lot more physical energy and to, and then that translates into brain space for me to do things like reading. So I've wanted to really get back to reading print books. I majored in English literature in college so reading books has always been a huge part of my life and I really enjoy reading print books just that act of holding a book in your hands and absorbing the words at your own pace and you know turning the pages using a bookmark all those things are just so ritualistic to me and I just really enjoy the peace that I get from just sitting in bed with a book. Um, I know it sounds, sounds, sounds nerdy, but I feel like a lot of us here in the planner community like reading and like books and take joy from it. So I'm sure a lot of you 
will be right there with me when you hear all this. Um, I've been trying to focus on a few different books actually, which I don't normally do. I don't normally bounce around between books, but it helps in this sense that uh, I'm reading different genres. Right now I'm reading Becoming, the Michelle Obama memoir. At the same time, I'm reading the second book. I just started the second book in the Robert Galbraith um, Cormoran Strike series. The second book that I'm reading now is called The Silkworm. I know that there is a lot of um, controversy going around right now about um, Robert Galbraith, aka J.K. Rowling, and uh, some comments that she made regarding the trans community. I don't honestly know much about that, um, so I'm not gonna gonna say much on it. Unfortunately, I I started reading the book. Um, after I heard about that, so uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue or if I'm going to continue into the next one um, for that reason, but but we'll see. Um, if anyone's read the series, the Cormoran Strike series, if you can recommend something similar uh, in the comments below or anything else that you've enjoyed reading, I would love to hear about it. I'd love to know. I'd love recommendations. I'm planning to keep a list of books that I'm reading and or listening to in part of the monthly spread in my planners from now on. There's the spaces at the front of the month for the notes pages and I'd like to put my reading list there as well as hopefully mark it in my monthly spreads which I'm going to do more with in the future. So if anyone has any recommendations for books, I'd love to hear them. Um, either detective novels or anything like that. I'm really big into um, British literature. I love Jane Austen. I'm actually listening to Pride and Prejudice right now as an audiobook narrated by Rosamund Pike on Audible. Uh, so if anyone has any recommendations similar to that or to the Cormoran Strike series, um, please feel free to leave them down below. I'm, uh, I don't think, I don't remember the last time I've been working on three different books at the same time and actually enjoying it and not finding it overwhelming. I don't think I've ever done that before, but I think it helps that they're completely different genres and formats. Um, the Pride and Prejudice audiobook I can kind of just have on in the background. I've read it like four times in print and I've listened to multiple different versions of it as an audiobook before so I don't feel like I'm missing much. I just like having it on as wonderful literary background noise. <laughs> um, and uh, so I'm making reading a really big priority this summer reading and listening to audiobooks. I was on a big podcast kick for a while, um, but got out of it, um, A, because work got busy, and B, because I got into Audible and audiobooks. The first audiobook that I listened to was Defending Jacob by William Lanaday. Um, it's also sort of a murder mystery thriller. I didn't know I was into those kinds of books, but I guess I am. <laughs> um, I listened to that audiobook after seeing the trailer for the miniseries that's on uh, Apple TV. I thought that the trailer looked really interesting, and I saw that it was based on a book, and I wanted to read or listen to the book first before watching the miniseries. I am the kind of person where if I know that there is a movie or a series coming out that's based on a book and it looks interesting to me that I want to make sure that I read 
or absorb the book first um, so that I can my um, experience can be enriched my experience of watching the series or movie can be enriched from having read the book or absorbed the book in some way audiobook or in print I did that with Gone Girl Defending Jacob and a few other things I'm sure um, if anyone has any recommendations for um, movies or TV shows based on books leave those down below I'd love to listen to or read something new and then watch the series or the movie uh, with a little bit of extra time that I have this summer if anyone has any recommendations for TV shows, leave them down below. I'm really excited to watch the newest episodes of Queer Eye that are out. I started the first episode a couple of days ago and I'm excited to continue watching that. I'm going to carve out some time today or tomorrow to do that, hopefully. Um, my husband and I are still watching Gilmore Girls about a few seasons in now and I think we're going to start Parks and Rec after this. We started watching Parks and Rec a while ago, like a few years ago, and we got through the first few episodes and I just really didn't like it. Um, but I've heard that the first season is just really not good but then after the first season it gets significantly better so I'm gonna try to give it another shot once we're done with Gilmore Girls and see how it is um, my husband swears by it he says it's really funny he says it's good so we're going to try that once we're done with Gilmore Girls let's see um, other than that, I've just been trying to keep up with cleaning. Um, this is actually today, the day that I'm recording this voiceover and posting this video, is my first official day of summer. Yay! It is Monday. We ended school on Thursday. Thursday was our last day of school. And Friday I had some last minute admin type things to do for work but today is our first official day off of school which is very exciting I'm still trying to keep myself scheduled and keep up with a routine I did let myself sleep in a little bit this morning I normally wake up between 6 30 and 7 but I let myself sleep in till about 7, 15, 7.30 this morning. And then kind of took it easy, read my book a little bit. And then got going with the day. So I'm trying to stick to the same schedule for the most part. But um, put a little bit more um, time for relaxation. And not be quite so strict with getting a million things done in one day while I'm on break. Um, today, I slept in, I got a little bit of reading done on my book, I got uh, my cleaning done for the day. Monday is dusting and uh, cleaning the kitchen day. I did not clean our oven. <laughs> you can see coming up here in a second that Yesterday, I had a fiasco with the oven. <laughs> I thought that I was going to make a frozen pizza. I thought I was going to treat myself to a frozen pizza. A healthy-ish frozen pizza. I heated up the oven, went to put the pizza in, and it somehow... My husband is still asking me questions about this to try and understand what happened. Somehow, I went to sort of scoot it onto the rack the oven rack and the whole pizza flipped upside down and somehow wound up 
face down, so topping side down, on the bottom, very bottom of our oven. So it was like immediately like cooking onto the bottom of the oven, which was just horrifying. And now I have to clean the whole oven because there is the entire top of a pizza cooked onto the bottom of my oven. <laughs> so I had to order Easy Off on Amazon, that special heavy duty cleaning stuff that you spray onto your oven and leave for like 20 minutes, however long, and then it makes it a lot easier to get cooked on nasty stuff off of your oven. I have a feeling I'm going to have to use like a whole bottle of that stuff to get this mess out of my oven. So that is coming on Amazon. So until it arrives, I cannot use my oven. <laughs> Hopefully it'll only be till tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, but then I'm going to have the delightful added task of cleaning my oven. <laughs> But, you know, you, you live and learn. It's fine. Um, it was just one of those shocking moments where you're like, oh my gosh. And you just wish that you could just stop time and not have flipped an entire pizza on its toppings into the bottom of your oven. Um, but my husband was really sweet. He, um, he ordered me a pizza, delivery pizza that, uh, yesterday. I was sad that my pizza got ruined and he felt bad for me so he ordered me a delivery pizza instead which was very sweet um so that fiasco happened yesterday um what else i don't know what else has been going on Oh, my husband and I ventured out for a walk for the first time, a serious walk for the first time since quarantine started. We've been trying to stay in since I'm uh, immunocompromised, so we've been trying to stay in as much as possible, but we actually ventured out and went and sat in the grass in a park near our house on... Saturday for a good hour, which was wonderful. Um, it was really nice to be outside and be under the sky and under the clouds and feel the breeze and everyone was really respectful of social distancing, which was nice. It hasn't been the case all the time recently, at least in our building that we live in. Um, it doesn't help that the hallways are narrow, but I'm noticing that it, even in the elevators, people aren't the greatest with social distancing. Like, multiple people will get on the elevator at once, and I'm like, that doesn't work with the whole social distancing thing, but <laughs> so that's made us a little weary of, of going out. But uh, we decided to take the gamble yes on Saturday and drove to the park and went for a little walk and relaxed in the sun for a little while that's um I just marked that you can see right there um that relax script is from Scribble Prince Co those cute little plant um icons are from the Coffee Monsters Co as is that little face mask that burgers and fries underneath that is from Mama Gloria's shop on Etsy. The groceries script in hollow is from Murdoch Talks. That right there is a flag from the kit with a sleep in icon from the Coffee Monsters Co. And the script is from Murdoch Talks. The book and headphones icon is from Kraus by Tally. That little sleeping emoji is from a stay-at-home sampler from the Coffee Monsters Co. That tidy up script is from Scribble Prince Co. 
and I tried to use a lot of these little these dark colored little things with scripts on top just so they would show up um, I tried to save them for when I knew I'd be using a lot of scripts as opposed to pen because obviously black pen wouldn't show up on a black um, sticker so uh, that laundry script is from Murdoch Talks the icon is from Scribble Prints Co a hollow sampler that FaceTime script is from Murdoch Talks and the girl with the FaceTime um, with the phone is a from a freebie from Murdoch Talks um, there we go and then that's a little emoji head it, that piece of pizza is from a Scribble Prints Co sampler to mark the huge mess that I made in my oven and then I had a little bit of extra space so I put a couple pieces of the deco from the kit to fill that space and I put in the rest, some more of the deco on the bottom washi and around the spread as appropriate. I'm going to save some of the more generic pieces to put in my day stash for later. I tried to just put in the ones that were specific for the spread, in the spread, that I knew I couldn't use or wouldn't be able to use likely elsewhere. There, I'm just filling in my... Uh, weekly gratitude on the left side there and my favorite moment from the week which was um, all of the gratitude and thank yous that I received from my kiddos families after our celebration on Thursday and saying our goodbyes and here is a wiggle again if you have any questions about where anything's from I'm happy to help peace love and happy planning bye bye